back to a new video everybody uh, today we're not going to be doing any work and we're actually going to be doing a review on the Massey Ferguson uh, so if you guys have been following along the channel for a while you know that we that first the channel we started revolving around around the machine uh, when it was first made and then obviously I switched into lawn care and started doing other stuff we used to also see this machine a lot on here so uh, a little bit overview of the machine. I think we got it in I think 2019 or 2020. Uh, I know it was right in the beginning of the pandemic, so like 2020, I think. Uh, so it's about two, three years old, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, we bought it new, uh, and as some of you may know, but most of you may not, uh, we have a mo. Uh, we got a tractor loader mower for it. So as we got, we had an underbelly mower, 60 inch deck, which is up in the shed. Uh, in the back and I'll show you that in a little bit uh, and we got a bucket with it and that was it uh, over the past two years we picked up some attachments for it obviously the most solution being the pallet forks picked up a quick hitch uh, the rear blade the trailer mover uh, we bolted on some hooks to the bucket but uh, the machine is in a lot of work especially revolving around uh, snow removal in the winter because if you don't know we live in Pennsylvania uh, northeast Pennsylvania so we do get quite a bit of snow during the year uh, I do use it for the neighbors too, uh, the ones that I help out and the ones that I do get paid to plow for and then obviously I have a snow blower to take out all the other places but with that being said this machine hit 200 hours I believe a week ago a little over a week ago maybe a little less uh, we were on a job and it was there or when we hit 200 hours there but I never got to do the review because I got busy with other stuff and making other videos. But right now, uh, I'll show you the machine, the condition that it's in. It's actually in really good shape. There's no dent scratches, uh, anything like that. It's a little dirty because I haven't washed it in about a month. And we've been using it a lot and it's really dusty out. But uh, if you don't have a Massey Ferguson, uh, I'll show you just some simple maintenance things that we do. Well, I usually do uh, every time before I use it. Obviously, anybody that has these machines checking coolants, checking oils checking uh, your hydraulic oil, all that good stuff, cleaning the screens out, making sure your engine's blown out, uh, and just trying to keep the tractor up uh, the best you can. Uh, checking tire pressures too, especially since we don't have loaded tires in the back with anything in it, so gotta check that. But the machine's in great condition for it being two years old with 204 hours or something on it. Um, but back to what we usually use it for, uh, we use it for a lot of different things. I mean, the pallet forks have been the biggest uh, attachment that I've used uh, since I bought. I those things are on the machine all the time. I I move brush piles with it and all that good stuff. Uh, the bucket we don't really use that much anymore, which honestly we expected because people said that in a lot of other YouTube videos, a lot of big channels said that when you get a set of pallet forks, you'll never know why you didn't have them and you'll want them. But anyway. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the warranty and stuff on the machine, but anyway. So, starting off here, as you can see, we bought it in Cortland, New York, CNY Farm uh, Supply. Huge, massive Ferguson dealer up there. Uh, when we bought this, they must have had 500, 600 different tractors, all the way from their smallest of compacts, like this machine is, to your biggest farm tractors. So up here, it has right on the thing, it has the five-year warranty, the powertrain warranty on it. Uh, we've only ever used the warranty once. So everybody would probably want to know about the warranty, and especially with the dealer. Uh, for us, we bought it in New York because it was cheaper, and there's no other Massey Ferguson dealer around us. There wasn't at the time, now there is. Uh, up by the New York state line, it's a little closer, but uh, these guys are great to deal with. Um, we did have one problem with the machine. There was a wine in the hydraulic pump on the uh, underneath this operator seat in between the two tires uh it's about an hour and a half drive so we took it back uh called up there took it back it was about a five minute fix they pulled the wheel off of it fixed it tell, told us to drive around the parking lot and we did that and it was good so that was the only ever problem we ever had with the machine uh and it happened it's common on these because it is a fix that they knew that what they had to do and it was just a plug or something. I don't know what it was. Uh, I can't remember. It was like a year ago. But they fixed it. No problem. We didn't pay a dime for it. And we left again. And the machine went back to work. The machine was never down. It was just a really loud hydraulic whine noise. So it was a little annoying. 
but the machine never went down so like i said that's the only problem we ever had with this machine uh, we've done a lot of different things with it we've lifted a lot of heavy stuff um for the size of the machine compared to all the other brands um it lifts just as well as everything else i mean obviously for us rear weight's a little bit of an issue but other than that uh we did have one problem the light on the side here is broken it got broken the day we brought it home a trailer gate fell on it accident whatever what are you gonna do i have it taped on there uh the lights are a little pricey they're like 150 bucks or 200 dollars. so that's why we didn't buy new ones or buy a new one uh, i just taped it and it looks fine uh everything still works great on it uh one thing that i really like about the machine uh massey ferguson you don't see a lot of other brands have it is the rear red brake lights that it has on it it has them when you turn the headlights on they come on they don't work when you touch the brakes but it's still at night especially when you're plowing snow um to have your four ways on your blinkers whatever you're using plus i'll put an overhead light on on the roll bar uh and you could put the lights on and it's just extra visibility uh the roll bar on this one because we have a uh a 1723e so that is the 23 horsepower economy series uh because we didn't buy a backhoe with it uh that'd be the step up to the 25 i think they actually sell them with the 23e now with the backhoe on them but our the roll car uh roll bar or ROPS, or whatever you want to call it, does not fold down. Um, I'm six foot five. I think it's like maybe six foot two inches, six foot, whatever. Uh, you don't need to roll it down if it's in any garage, any tight space. It's good underneath trees, better than any other ROPS, and you still have the protection up there. Uh, when you're watching some reviews on these, people say that the seat isn't comfortable. Uh, especially because it doesn't have the armrests and stuff. I never thought that we ever needed the armrests. Um, maybe it, maybe it'll be nice. I never ran a machine with armrests on it, to be honest with you. So I don't know if I've sat on them. I've moved them a little bit, but I've never had the opportunity to run one for a while. But this seat is very comfortable. It's got pretty good suspension on it. So I never saw a problem with it. I know Shrek's time with Tim was a little critical when he did his review on the 1725M which is their premium series tractor, two horsepower up in a premium series that has the armrest, work light in the rear, backhoe, and reversible seat. But the seat that we have is very, very nice. Uh, talking about the operator station, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, it's just everything you need right next to you. And there's nothing blocked by your legs or anything. You don't really hit anything. Everything's very easily accessible without having to move a lot. Uh, the steering wheel, tilt steering, very nice uh, I keep it tilted up obviously because I am taller so when I'm doing that uh, some people say that they're, they're hard to tilt or they're uncomfortable or in a weird spot or the steering wheel is weird I never saw that problem so I don't I've, I've run this machine a lot and it, I don't really see what they're talking about with that uh, I guess it's everybody's opinion but other than that I'm gonna show you the operator station now I'll show you the engine we'll show you the rear of the tractor we've never used the rear PTO on this so the PTO cover is still on it we've used the mid mount PTO and I'll show you on the machine a little bit. This is the rear of the machine. We got the quick hitch on here. This is the PTO cover. Uh, this is your glass that you check your uh, hydraulic fluid with. And this is your, uh, how you access it by putting more in and by checking it with the dipstick and all that. One thing about these tractors, they don't have a draw bar. They only have this. So that is why we needed to buy the trailer mover for it because they don't have a draw bar. A little bit of a drawback, but what are you gonna do? Coming around the side of the tractor, we have your, uh, this is your rear PTO. Uh, yeah, actually I haven't run this thing in a month. Hang on. Yeah, no, this is your rear PTO and this is your mid mount PTO. Both right now I are set in the off position. Yeah, they're both in the off position. And then this is how you engage both PTOs. Uh, only reason you'll ever run both is obviously with a bagger for the back and your mower. So you have to run both. This is your height control of your lift arms on the bottom. Uh, this is your hydraulic flow for your three-point hitch and your bottom, uh, your linkage arms for the mower deck. Uh, I've never really messed with any of these, to be honest with you. So I don't know much about them. We never touched them. The dealer said you'll never have to. Uh, your four-wheel drive, very important. Uh, works great. This thing can move through a lot with four-wheel drive. Your differential lock is down here. Uh, with your four-wheel drive locked on and with your differential locked in, you can get 
up a lot of stuff and through a lot of stuff, either snow, mud, whatever it may be. Oh, the machine does great. You have your parking brake here. Uh, you take it off. It's probably gonna roll right now on the, yeah, it is. So you take it off and then all you do is just flip that switch down. Uh, these are your turn signals, obviously. Right, left, four ways. Lights on, lights off. Uh, this is how you tilt your steering wheel. And so up here on the operator station, move my leg out of the way for you. I'm trying to get this glare out of here. This is your throttle up, down. Uh, your key right here. Oh, I just covered the thing with my hand, sorry. Uh, lenses, these are your glow plugs right here. See that? Uh, they don't go off, you have to unhold it. So that's that, those are the glow plugs. It's a two range, uh, slow and high or low and high. This is your uh, mid mount for anything in the mid mount PTO, the drop and the uh, rear arms. Obviously this is your uh, loader stick or your, uh, how you control the loader up, down, obviously curl out, curl in, you know the deal with that. Dash here, we have a total 204 hours on it. I have taken the loader off of it. It is pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is pull this pin here, here, on this side, and then you just have to curl out or in, or I forget how to do it exactly, but if I got on it, I could do it. Uh, taking the loader off is very easy if you want to mow with it, if you want to make this your mowing tractor, uh, too. Obviously, skid steer quick attach. But here, here, we're going here. This is what the engine looks like right now. Uh, there's nothing, it's not too dirty for it having 200 hours on it. There is, if you do this, and then you go ahead and you can do that, and that'll hold your thing up, your uh, hood up. If you pull this right here, and you pull this screen out, this is your debris screen, keeps everything out of it, and you just bang it out a few times. And it's good, I just cleaned that out like a week ago. You always wanna make sure that is clean. And you just go ahead and put that back in there. But this is the engine uh, coolant level is right here we're right in the middle right now with full and low uh we've been that way all since the winter it doesn't really move that much we didn't, i don't think we've ever added to it put that back up go ahead slam it in here metal hood very very nice don't get the plastic stuff that Kubota and deer have i forget which one one of them have it uh have a plastic hood and they break really easily i think it's Kubota. uh Going down the loader, all of your lines are hidden in here, so any brush that you get in here won't bother your hydraulic lines at all. Uh, obviously, these are exposed, but they have to be. Dual cylinder, dual cylinder. Uh, very nice, uh, gives you a little more curl and uh, roll power, and it's a lot less strain on one cylinder being in the middle, but two here. Obviously, we have our skid circuit attached here. And over here is all of our loader hydraulics. Uh, we don't have a third function on here, so it's only the four. But yeah, obviously we have a seatbelt on here and your fuel is right here. Has a fuel gauge on it, tells you how much is in it. Like that, when you turn the key on, it's going up a little bit. And up here is the mower deck for it. I got some salt and crap on it. We haven't used it all year. Uh, I didn't like mowing with it, but it did mow great. Laid the nice stripes. Uh, but yeah, before I forgot, that is the mower deck and the PTO shafts on it there. It's a 60 inch deck. Anyway, that is the review of this tractor. Like I said, it's been a great tractor. Uh, we never had to do anything to it. It doesn't, we have no, knock on wood, we have no mechanical issues with it or anything like that. It's a great workhorse. Uh, we're gonna keep adding attachments for it. And other than that, I wanna thank you all for watching the video. If you're thinking about buying a Massey Ferguson, I would say absolutely go ahead. Uh, they're a tad bit cheaper than the rest of the brands and they do just as good work and I don't think you're paying for the color on it so that's always good but anyway that's the review of this tractor again it's a 1723e also the economy series 23 horsepower but it's like two or three years old now and we got 200 hours on it and I couldn't do anything but recommend it to others but anyway thank you for watching this video everybody and I will see you in the next video